Hey Crush, here is your Tuesday. We have a partner workout to extend today, partner workout. Um, first, couple announcements. One, remember to sign up for the Manage to Incline back there on the back little whiteboard. You have till August 6th to sign up. We're doing it on the 14th. Um, we will uh, also go do, so my usual routine for the man, man to Incline is go climb it, have some beers at the top, hang off for like a half an hour or whatever, enjoy the view. Hopefully the smoke is cleared, hopefully we get a really nice view. And then uh, run down, get to the end, um, and then when everybody gets down there, go meet. There's a really great barbecue place that's down the road. Go down there and have some barbecue. Call it a day. Uh, it's a good time. So everyone come do that, come do that. For those with kids or for those with kids in sports or for those that know people with kids in sports, we're going to have a kids sports camp, a speed camp. The goal is, the, is speed. This um, selfishly, CJ needs help with his speed. And so we're going to work on it. And with the lateral movement that's required for baseball, moving side to side, we're going to work on that. So we're going to test three things for the kids' camp. We're going to test the 40-yard dash, how high they can jump and touch from a standing position, and then the three-cone drill. Three-cone drill is a classic football um, scouting camp type drill where they start a cone, touch a cone, touch a cone, come back and run through. Um, we're going to test that. We're going to test those three things, and we're going to go for 10 weeks. The cost is $150 per kid for 10 weeks and we're gonna work on improving those. It's gonna be a very serious thing. It's not CrossFit Kids, it's not to be no games. We will lift weights, because part of speed is strength. So we will lift some weights. We're gonna focus on explosiveness, power. Um, it's not gonna be an hour and a half of just crush them, crush them, crush them. It's not gonna be that at all. I'm gonna want some short bursts of power, short bursts of speed, and to accomplish that, we'll have some rest, right? But I want kids that are gonna be serious, kids that are gonna to wanna to come do it, if I have kids that are slacking off, screwing off, um, not taking it seriously, affecting others, I'll refund the money to the parents. I want it to be serious. I want to come in and improve some kids, get better at sports. If you know somebody that's going to be interested, uh, send them my way. Uh, hopefully we see lots of improvement and the kids get better. And hopefully they have fun. Hopefully they enjoy it. Um, hopefully it's a fun camp and hopefully we see some improvement. All right. Today, uh, the strength part is going to be 10 minutes, 10 minutes only to find a max deadlift. So in the survey, we had somebody say something like, um, you know, because we found a heavy deadlift last week, a double overhand grip deadlift. And there was nothing leading up to it to indicate that you might have gotten stronger at your deadlift, right? There was nothing indicating, we didn't do any progressions, we didn't do a lot of deadlifts. So how would you get stronger, would we PR? That's not always the case. Sometimes when I do a strength like this, a, a, a quick, brief, it's just to get some of those reps, get some of that heavy weight. I don't expect people to PR. I'm not expecting people to, to set records every time we find a run rep max. Last week or two weeks ago, whenever it was, we had a double overhand grip, which many people are gonna struggle with, right? It's actually kind of limit how much weight they can lift for a lot of people because they can't switch grip. And this one, we only have 10 minutes. So I'm really, really not hoping that people PR in this. The people that PR in the 10 minutes probably either having a really good day or more than likely didn't know what their one rep max was to begin with or it's been so long that they're gonna PR. The goal is just to kind of get some heavy weight, move some heavy weight, not necessarily PR. This is not a progression. Um, that's why we're doing this. The goal of this isn't to like PR and have a bunch, bunch of people ring the bell. That'd be great if we did, but the most people that will are the people that probably don't know their one rep max. Anyway, 10 minutes to find that. 10 minutes hard cap. And then in teams of two, we have the challenging part. Teams of two, you're gonna deadlift total 100 deadlifts. The prescribed weight is 225, 155. The, goal, the, the, the problem is you can only accumulate deadlifts when your partner is holding the same weighted bar, 225, 155, at the top of the deadlift, double overhand grip. They cannot switch grip. You gotta have double overhand grip. So you can only deadlift while your partner's holding the bar like that. When you're deadlifting, you can switch grip. When you're deadlifting, you can definitely switch grip. But when you're holding that bar, you have to just hold it standing up. So there's gonna be lots of barbells out because each team's gonna need two barbells. So with Sometimes when we have partner workouts, I'll expand class a little bit. Today, that's not gonna be an option because we'll probably get pretty low on barbells and especially low on actual weight for those barbells. When you know that, you'll rest five minutes. So you look up the clock, that's your team score for the first one. Rest five minutes. Just like uh, yesterday, if you wanna round up a little bit, that's fine, but rest five-ish minutes. Don't rest five minutes and 45 seconds. Rest five-ish minutes. And then we do the same thing, but it's gonna be shoulder overhead. You can use your legs as much as you want, but your partner has to hold up their barbell overhead like locked out. So 95, 65 are pretty lightweight, but you have to have your partner holding the barbell overhead while you accumulate reps. That's part two, partner workout. That's your Tuesday. Have a good Tuesday.